I don't know, I probably would have been just a hard worker. I mean, I've done many things. I had many jobs in life. I mean, I drove trucks, vans, delivery. I was a messenger at one time in the city. I also worked for the city. I used to work for the Transit Authority, where I was um, actually cleaning trains, job that I had to take a test for and then wait four years for them to call me. So I, I, I probably would have had 20 something years on that job right now. You became a teacher? I've never, I don't know. I can't say how it would have been shaped. I've never really thought of being a teacher when I was younger. I had dreams and plans of doing all kind of other stuff. Well, you taught me. Thank you. Well, just to get a claw. The beetle in the haystack from out of earth is kid, but a tiger would kill on one stone in Brad's pit. <laughs> Jesse owned the money for the weave of a spark. Made his journey sit far as he walked the dead clocks. Jeffy's lion stuck with a thorn from George Bush. Paul pierced in the heart as the crowd pushed. Acting alone, Drew Berry wore bones of a victim's three blocks from Jim's brownstone. They shared the same bowl and caught Natalie's call. The producer threw the butter on Esther's roll. Hey. I like that? Yeah. Yeah. Larry's bird flew out of Nicholas Cage. <laughs> Joe text messages from Satchel's page. Ooh. Betty write letters with ink from Shaw's pen. Infinite bars can't tell where the song ends. Glenn close enough to quickly dub the tapes. Richard Gere went while he was climbing Bill Gates. He was a southerner posing as a native New Yorker. When Jason Kidd took his first steps in Jimmy's Walker. They stayed online chatting with Raps and Labs and used Bernie's back to search for Veronica Webb. Hey! <laughs>